Have y'all ever seen a house that's completely made of concrete? Let's go. All right, so I'm out here at this ranch and I've got several buildings to wire. There's a house over there. There's a fitness center, like a full, full ass gym, like Gold's Gym style gym. Another house there. There's this house to do. And uh, if you watched my last video, there's a, also a main huge house over there. Um, it's a place where people come out and hunt, hunt exotic animals. There's like every kind of deer, anything that has horns and antlers is here. Buffalo, like fucking there's camels, there's giraffes and zebras, like all kinds of craziness. Anyway, so there's so much work to do out here that we're gonna be out here every week for the next year. I've been out here for months already, pretty much since like April just every week and it sucks because it's like an hour away from our shop so it's like way the fuck out in the middle of nowhere anyways i figured i would show you this house that we're working on now this kind of looks sloppy because it was just like a shitty demo and we didn't do the demo so there's kind of like stuff like this where there's just romex 12 you know 12 2 strung up for temporary lighting like we didn't do any of that i would have put actual temp lights in here but somebody's got it going on there's all these like <laughs> it's just joints hanging there you know, like whatever, they're doing country shit to, to get things done. So a different builder actually got fired because they couldn't handle this job and a different electrician started doing stuff and then they, when the builder got fired, everybody else got fired. So one of our builders picked this up and so now we have to uh, do everything for it. So um, just to kind of show you what we're doing, we've got a panel in here. This is gonna have a, a Lutron panel. There's gonna be two Lutron panels. Um, there's going to be a processor, a smaller panel, and a larger panel. It's all homeworks. So this looks sloppy right now, but uh, it's a whole bunch of Lutron legs that are going to get put into a panel in there once we reframe the wall to fit everything. This is where all my home runs are going to go. I got a 200 amp panel. Um, so a lot of the framing is still needed. We still have to demo things like that, but there's going to be a rack in there. Uh, the AV guys have a, a bunch of shit so they can pull out a rack. Um, pretty much just wired everything to uh, to code. There was really no plan for any of this, so we just kind of went with it um, and tried to figure things as we went. All of the Lutron controls, so like all of the lighting basically is controlled by low voltage. So there's these little keypad locations that have low voltage control to them. So each one of the keypads is gonna have six buttons and one of them might say like, living area or one of them might say game room or whatever and you can actually control entire scenes so instead of you just turning on one light source you can program this house so that when you hit a button every light in the house comes on or, or, or every light in the house comes off and you have another button where like a couple of lights going down like a hallway and entering into like a specific scene like a nighttime scene you know like there's a lot of control that you have over the entire system so uh, all of the low voltage keypads um, are all done in low voltage. Uh, we've started wiring. Now, I have to say, first and foremost, the wiring of this place is pretty ugly. <laughs> we have a guy that wired this one, and a uh, good dude, been doing this a long time, but aesthetics doesn't give a fuck about. So uh, a lot of this is just sloppy. Like there's just weird wire hanging out everywhere and looped up. And I wouldn't have done that, you know, like I wouldn't, my wires probably would not, <laughs> would not just look shitty and sloppy like that. My stuff would be like clean lines and angles and things like that, but it still works, right? Like everything's going to work, made sure not to staple too low so that he's going to, you know, get hit with nails or anything like that. But the house is kind of a weird shit mess to have to wire. You'll notice we have CMU walls. This is concrete. There's a little bit of wood here because there used to be a door and they just framed it in, but we've got like one by four walls that we're trying to wire. So I can't put a plug in there and I'm having to cut out and do things like this to try to fit a receptacle in. But on like the CMU walls, I can't do that. With the low volt, we can get away with just putting a mud ring on. So when the drywall goes up, it gets all covered. But things like this worry me. So this is not us. This is a different AV company that's doing all the low voltage for the Lutron stuff. We're just doing everything that's 120 volts and up. But they're wires. I mean, they, somebody goes to put drywall up here and dude, they're, their shit's gonna get hit. I guarantee it's gonna get hit. Um, but you know, there's a lot of like having to drill holes through to stub through to get through like a thick wall like that just to, so you get to the other side so that there is a two by four wall that you can run wires up. Um, this is like a bunk room. So they're gonna have a couple of different bunks in here. They wired everything for speakers. We've got some cans. 
Um, but there's probably gonna be like one set of bunks over there. There's gonna be a TV. There's gonna be some, you know, just general plugs. There's probably gonna be another bunk over there or a set of bunks. Um, bathroom, there's gonna be like a main room, kind of like a master bedroom that has its own bathroom. Uh, we still have a bunch of drywall. All the drywall is gonna get ripped out so we can start over. This is actually like the old outside. So somebody added on all of this. This is the CMU wall or the you know concrete wall. But even the ceilings, like look at this. All these ceilings, this is all concrete. So even to like run wires from one can to another can, we had to drill up at every location just to get through concrete to wire cans together. And it's like that through the entire place. It's all concrete everywhere through the whole place. So putting cans up also to try and attach cans to one by fours is, is difficult. So if you look really closely, we just screwed in to the sides of the one by fours rather than having anything to nail to. Otherwise we would have had to cut blocks and try to like block every single location. And they didn't want to do that because there's a likelihood of these cans actually changing where they go and what the layout is. So um, this is another huge, uh, kind of like a master. There's going to be, you know, sliders, big, big doors right there. There's going to be some furniture and a TV. Um, they're going to have fans. All the fans in every one of these buildings are all like wall mounted oscillating fans rather than, you know, like a ceiling mounted fan in the center of the room. More stuff that we have to, you know, like do on concrete walls. Um, somebody had a really good idea. They're like, why don't we just use shallow 1900 boxes instead of having to break out the wall and try to like make room for a normal receptacle or, a, you know, like a blue single game box. Still have to drill through everything to get wires anywhere. Um, there's going to be shower there. We're going to have like a tub and a nice window so like people can see you naked while you're, <laughs> while you're in the tub, I guess. I don't know. Um, but there's going to be a sink and a vanity there. We're going to have sconces, another sink and a vanity sconces. We'll have another fan up top. That's actually the wrong box. They need to put a circle box for a fan. But yeah, a lot of the wires are just run right now. So it kind of looks sloppy, but like once everything gets stapled down and cleaned up, I'll, I'll do another video out here to kind of show you the progress of all of it. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of sloppy wiring. I got to talk to these guys about like uniformity and how things look like uh, something I would never have done. It, look at the difference in this. It looks like somebody took the time to actually drill all those holes out at the same height. So the wire looks good, but this over here, like it goes straight and then it starts to kind of like go up. I don't know, just it, somebody didn't take the time to like really finesse it and make it look good. And that's the kind of stuff that I like to do. Now, is that wrong? Do you have to make everything look proper? No, as long as it works, as long as everything's all right, it's fine. Um, but it goes a long way if you're gonna have inspections for an inspector to look at your stuff. They're gonna wanna come in and see somebody has taken the time to like do everything clean and straight. They're just not gonna look, they're not gonna worry so much because it's like, wow. They really do a good job. Like they care about what they do. So um, that's kind of the attitude. Plus I'm just a big fan of like taking pride in your work and being good at what you do. So anyways, that's the concrete building. I'll bring you guys along the process for um, some more of these videos that we've got going on. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.